Hello internet friends, uh, in this video let's skip to the end because uh, I, <laughs> I ran out of steam trying to figure out what I was going to uh, do on the plane today. Went out to the hangar, wanted to do some work, and then I realized I, I, I am completely lost on what the next step I should do is. Um, so yeah, skip to the end. Uh, if you want to come chat RVs, uh, join our Slack group. The link is in the description. Okay, so if you're still here, uh, I'm going to build a TV stand. <laughs> and this idea came because someone in the Slack group, I'm sorry, it's late and I forgot who said it. Someone in the Slack group said, hey, um, you could get a TV stand and, uh, you know, rolled around and then you could see the plans while you're building the plane. And I thought that's an excellent idea. So that's what I decided to do today because like I said, I was out of steam and I'm like, where, where am I? What, what does the next thing do? And I, you know, it, for some reason it's not the same looking at the plans on my laptop. And again, okay, I, I, I can see why people like the paper plans because you have a consistent experience, but you know what I can also do? I can just go buy a TV and then put it in the hangar. So there we go. Uh, so that's what I did. Uh, and I bought a TV from Costco that was on sale for $2.99. I don't recommend it. Uh, I mean, it'll be fine for a hangar TV that I'm planning on using as a monitor. So it's fine. But uh, yeah, I could not find any buttons on it. So I guess I have to use the remote to power it on and change the stuff. That's kind of weird. Maybe I missed the buttons, but I looked pretty hard. But I also am pretty tired. But I, yeah, I couldn't find any buttons. So we will, next time I go to the hangar, I'll look again. <laughs> See if I can find some buttons. And if I don't, then yeah, I definitely don't recommend this TV because uh, that is stupid. Okay, so speaking of stupid, I am very disappointed that um, apparently my campaign plans for Congress or Senate or whichever one I was going to run for, uh, I, they're completely ruined because um, the Senate passed a bill to remain on daylight savings time. So I guess it remains to be seen if uh, Congress can get their act together and pass it. Or maybe they don't. If they don't, then, <laughs> hey, I can run a campaign 100% on, I will serve one term and I will get this done. Right? Let's go to daylight savings time and just stay there and not ever change the clocks again. Because, you know, we have this thing called electricity and the internet and GPS. And all of that makes it so, like, we can know exactly what time it is anywhere in the world. In fact, we can all synchronize our clocks. We have this thing called atomic clocks, and, you know, it's the same time on everybody's phone. Now, by that, I mean th their phones think it's all the same time, right? Because uh, if you didn't know, there's this thing called universal time, and that's how phones and computers actually work. And then they apply a time zone to make humans think that it's a different time. But not really. Time is Time and space are relative to a fixed point that's relative to all of us. Like, we don't have enough gravity to affect the time in different places on the Earth. Okay, that's as far as I understand relativity. So if anyone is smarter at relativity than me, then uh, feel free to explain in the comments. But I'll just summarize that because of relativity, we don't really need time zones. We just have time zones because humans are stupid. All right, so now that I got this TV stand together, I'm super happy that, you know, I, I scroll, start scrolling through the plans and realize, oh yeah, you know where I'm at? I need to build the fuel system. And you know what I forgot all about since I haven't touched it in two or three months? Uh, what I was doing on the fuel system. So I'm going to get back to reading about the fuel system and figuring out how to build fuel lines and attach, install my... Um, and air valve. So, anyway, like I said, if you're stupid like me, come join our Slack group because there's people that are smart in there. Uh, and they help me and everyone else a lot. So, thanks for that and see you in the next video.